I'm Sharonda Williams, and I'm here to tell you about the latest Prime Video original series, The Peripheral, and help you meet the characters. The Peripheral is a sci-fi series that follows Flynn Fisher as she's pulled from her hard scrabble life in rural America into a deadly mystery in a dystopian London that threatens to destroy everyone she loves. The Peripheral series is based on the novel by science fiction luminary William Gibson. Flynn, our main character, is living in her North Carolina hometown in 2032, a present that's immediately familiar yet different from our own. She and her brother Burton, a Marine vet who bears the scars of the Texas War, earn extra cash for their mom's medical bills by hiring themselves as sim jockeys for wealthy clients who want to level up in VR games. Their activities soon attract the attention of a mysterious developer who pays Burton to beta test a cutting edge game. Donning the headset in his place, Flynn finds herself in Burton's avatar dropped into a sim that is more realistic than she's ever played before. These cyborg avatars are called the peripheral, which is controlled by headset, or in Flynn's case, from another time. When not piloted by a human, peripherals can be controlled by artificial intelligence. In a sleek, futuristic London, she's guided by a voice to infiltrate the Research Institute and still a secret so valuable that people are willing to kill for it. Flynn eventually meets Alita who is an inscrutable figure behind the voice when the game begins to feel a little too real. That's because this isn't a simulation, it's London 2099 rebuilt in the wake of a series of global catastrophes known as the Jackpot. In other words, the Jackpot is a cascade of catastrophic events that resulted in the global depopulation and the collapse of the civilization followed by the rise of a new dystopian society. Tempted by the promise of more money and life-saving medicine for her mother, Flynn is propelled into the crosshairs of three factions. Sharice, the cunning head of the Research Institute, will go to any lengths to recover what was taken from her. Sharice is one of the three power players in the future London, alongside the Met and the Clubs. The Research Institute is behind virtually every aspect of science and technology in the post-jackpot world. We also meet Lev Zubov, the powerful Klept who wants all the information for himself. Klept is short for Kleptocrap, and the Klept are oligarch families that emerge from the jackpots to shape the world to their own liking. The clans are represented in the peripheral primarily by Lev. Then there is the formidable Detective Inspector Ainsley Lobeer of the Metropolitan Police who knows all the players but doesn't quite know the stakes. As in our time, it's the Territorial Police Force of Greater London, represented in the peripheral by Detective Inspector Ainsley Lobeer, the Met of the future appears to have a wider but more fearsome reach. Flynn's best hope for navigating this deadly future is Zubob's fixer, Wolf, who has his own motives for wanting to understand the mystery of what happened to the stolen information, but also to Alita. But while Flynn can respawn her avatar if killed in 2099 London, she's confronted by a graver threat in her own time. Forces sent by the future to kill Flynn, Burton, and if necessary, anyone they know. The peripheral moves between 2032 North Carolina and 2099 London using a sci-fi lens to examine such present-day issues such as the surveillance state, the threat posed by kleptocracy, the plight of rural America, the treatment of war veterans, and the rising cost of healthcare and political unrest in the United States. All of the while, it offers a tantalizing glimpse into the possible future of gaming. The Peripheral is now streaming on Prime Video, and be sure to check out new episodes airing each Friday. See you soon. Whoa, oh my God. I see the See whole you later. We have to try everything. Drink. Hello. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn <laughs> science. <laughs> you guys are going to make the look like I'm in the show, right? You're gonna put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't wanna look like an asshole.